Hey everyone, my name's Krim and I'm the drum teacher and owner at Shug Studios in Sleaford. This is a lesson breakdown of the Trinity rock and pop version of Alive by Pearl Jam. This video is broken up into chapters so you can find the bar or the fill or the section that you need down in the description below. If you'd like to check out the playthrough for this video, it's a pinned comment right at the top. So here we are, first line of the song. This song starts off with the guitar. We've got two bars rest. It's really quite a slow song. It's a grungy slow song. Um, so we count two lots of four. And then that third bar, you're in with a crash and a bass, just on one, nice and loud. <laughs> two, three, four. Bar four, we're gonna play the whole bar all together to start off with. One, two. We come in with a crash and a bass again, but this time we come in on beat two and a half. So we come in on the two and. One, two, and. One, two, and. So then that's followed by a lovely fill on the toms. It's just literally two on each drum, but it's the rhythm that's a little bit different to that. So we come in with that first high tom on the three E, the three E and uh, So we come in in the second of those uh, four semiquavers. So it goes with the crash before. One, two, and three E and. So one, two, and three E and. And then that's just followed by a caterpillar or four E and. Uh, So yeah, so that all together, one, two, and three, E, and, four, E, and, uh. One, two. Bar five, we come in with the main groove of the intro. One, two, three, four. couple of different ways we can break this beat down so your hi-hat part is just playing the old one and two and three and four and nice straight eighth groove we've got a bass with the very first one and the next bass is in between the second and the third hi-hat or it's on the one and uh one and uh one and uh Straight after that on beat two, we've got a snare and a hi-hat and a bass and a hi-hat on the two and. Two and. So beats one and two go. One and a two and. One and a two and. Beat three goes three and a. Uh. Three and uh. So you've got a hat, then a bass separately, and then a hat and a bass together. Three and uh. Three and uh. That's followed by a snare and a hat and a hi hat on beat four. So beats three and four together go. Three and uh, four and. Three and a uh, four and. So let's put that whole bar together. A three and four and. And a two and three e and four and. One and a two and three e and four and. It's also a trashy hi-hat. So make sure your hi-hat is nice and trashy in that section. And we crash in on the very first bar. So we've got four bars of that groove in total with a crash on number one.
So bar nine is slightly different. We move into two four. So we've changed time signature from four four to two four. So there's two less beats in this bar than there normally is. As long as you count your way through it, you should be absolutely fine. And if you listen to the track and get used to this, uh, again, you should be fine. So beat one of this two four bar, we've got a drag and then four semi quavers on the snare. I play left, left, right drag. I know some of you might prefer to do the right, right, left, but really try and practice your drag. So you can lead with your right hand. You should practice your drag separately as, as a warm up maybe before you do this song. Practice your drags a little bit often and you'll notice that they will get a lot better. Beat two of the two four bar goes two E. So the E is a bass drum and the and is a crash in a bass drum. So that whole two four bar goes a one, two. Sort of push on that crash symbol into the next bar. One, two. Then we're straight back into 4-4 four, four after that. So because that crash symbol's tied, we don't play it on beat number one. We start with the bass on beat number two. Number two, just that bass drum. And then the rest of the fill goes. Three, E, four, and the. Uh. So that's two hits on the high tom. And then a right hand on the floor tom. And then I move the right hand over to go right left for the snare. Three, E, four, and uh. Hard not to rush it. Make sure you keep it nice and laid back and really stick with that tempo. So bars nine and 10 together, that two, four, and four, four bar together, after two beats in goes one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. And again. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, and a. One, two. One. So bar 11, we've reached the verse and we have a new groove to play. So in this section, we've tightened up that hi-hat and we've brought the dynamic down to mezzo forte, medium sort of loudish. So we've got eight bars of this groove in this section from bars 11 to 18. And it says continue similar. So you don't have to stick necessarily with what is written on the page. You can ad lib a little bit, but don't go too crazy. This isn't a drum solo. This is just carrying on the same drum beat. You could add a little open hi-hat somewhere. That's always a good place to put an open hi-hat. Maybe put that old bass drum pattern back in from the groove before. But on the whole, you just want to keep it nice and simple. This section is about the vocals, but also if you feel like adding a little bit of flair in, a bit of your own personality, then go for it. So bar 19, this is where we come back to this kind of... <laughs> that we do that again, however... That is not notated. The snare drum part is not notated, but they do play it on the track that comes with the song, with the exam book. So I say put it in. <laughs> if you're finding your drags a struggle, you don't have to put it in there. You can get away with leaving it out, but I would recommend getting it in. It just sounds awesome. So first beat of bar 19. Definitely do that again. And then we got the bass. So beat one, definitely play this of bar 19. Beat two of bar 19, we've got the from the T4 bar there. But this time we go back into the groove after we finish it. So here's the whole of bar 19. Bar 
20, we carry on that <laughs> snare drum drag <laughs> semi graver thing on beat number one. But this time on beat two, instead of doing what we usually do, bass, bass, crash, we do a bass. But after this bass, we hit a snare with the crash. <laughs> so it's two E and. <laughs> so beats one and two, go. One, two. <laughs> the last half of that film, beats three and four, we basically play caterpillar, caterpillar, but we've got a rest on the very first one, a semi-quaver rest, so we don't play the first semi-quaver. So it goes three E and a, four E and a, rest. Three, four, three, four. I'd start that with my left hand as well. Um, I act as if, you know, if I was playing that first rest on the snare, it would be a right hand. So in order to keep leading with that right, I start with the left hand, and then when you're into that crash on the chorus, your right hand's ready to go for it. So the whole of bar 20 goes... Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here's bars 19 and 20 together as well, because they kind of make a nice little section together. Three, four. Two. And again, three, four. Bar 21, we've reached the chorus of the song and this is the main groove for it. chorus we switched over from the hi-hat to the ride cymbal and we've got a slightly simpler pattern of one and a two three and a four breaking that down even more we've got a bass and a ride on beat one and on the and so it's one and a Then on beat two, it's just two and. So those two together goes one and a two. We repeat that for three bars and we crash in on that first one. Two. Bar 24, we carry on with that groove for the first two beats. One and a two and. And then we've got this nice kind of fill. So beats three and four. Beat three split up goes three, E and a. Uh. And beat four. Four and a uh, ride and snare together on beat four. And then bring that right hand over for a good old. So beats three and four together go. Three E and a uh, four and a. Uh. The whole of our 24 goes like this. And a two, e and a four, and a one 
and a two. We eat and a four and a... After the fill in bar 24, we return to the chorus groove on the ride cymbal for two bars and we crash it in. One and a two. Bar 27, we've got a fill. So I'll play it to you first of all. One, two, three, four. So breaking that bar down, beat one. We've got two bass drums on the one and the first one's got a ride, second one crash. So it goes one and. Beat two, we've got a a banana or two eater. I would use a stick in right left left for that beat. So beats one and two together. One, two. One, two. Beat three, we've got a just three E and a, or caterpillar. Two on the high tom, two on the medium tom. And then we finish off with two hits on the floor tom. However, it doesn't just roll around. We've got a rest, a semi quaver rest. So it goes four E and four. So beats three and four together go three E and a four. So the four is silent. So the whole about twenty seven. One, two, three, four. Bars twenty eight to thirty five. This is the second verse in the song. So we just return to that first groove. From the first verse. For eight bars. You can ad lip a little bit. Or just keep it the same. One and a two and Bar 36, we've got that fill again. So it's that drag again with the four semi quavers on the snare. On beat two with the bass and the crash. And it's exactly like before, we just carry that groove on. So I play the whole of bar 36. One, two. Bar 37, we carry that on, and just like before, we hit the snare and the crash that time. Yeah. Beats three and four have all these demi semi quavers in them, or 30 second notes. So the whole of beats three and four goes one, two, Four on the high tom, four on the medium tom, eight on the floor tom. So it's three, four. So whole about 37 goes. Oh, one, two, three, four. One more time. I would definitely stick to singles through that film. And also, it's quite easy to rush when you get like loads of fast notes coming up. It's really easy to kind of panic and think, oh, I've got to hit everything as fast as I can. But it's just as twice as fast <laughs> as those semi quavers. <laughs> After that fill in bar 38, we're back to the chorus groove on the ride. So 
you do that for three bars again with a crash on that first one. And then bar 41, it's exactly the same as bar 24. So we carry on that groove for two beats. And beats three and four have the same ending. Like so. After that fill, back into bar 42, we just play, well, this time we play four bars of the groove. Crashing in. So this chorus is a little bit longer than the first chorus. After that point in the first chorus, we only did two bars of groove and then we had a fill. This time we've got four bars of groove and then we go into the instrumental section. So bar 46 kind of signals the start of the instrumental section, even though it says it's on the next bar, bar 47. Um, I think it really starts on this 46th one. But this bar is in 4-4, four four, but every other time we have this pattern in the instrumental section, it goes into 7-8. So bar 46, I'll play it to you first of all. 3, 4. One more time, three, four. So this fill is all on the snare. Beat one is one and a. We've got a crash on the one and then snares on the ander. And we carry on with two more snares on the two E of the next beat. So the whole thing together goes one and a two E. Then on beats three and four, a three, four, three E and a E and. So the whole of bar 46 goes a one and a two E, three E and a E and. Then we're into bar 47 where we get these kind of two bar phrases. We have a bar of groove and then a bar with this kind of snare drum fill. But the first bar, bar 47, has the groove. <laughs> so really keeping it nice and simple, really trying to stick with that click track. Following that, we've got a bar of seven, eight. So bar 48. I'll play you it first. After seven. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. So with the counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you need to switch. To make this easier, switch from counting the crotch chip from the one, two, three, four. We're now going to count the quavers. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of the time we can split seven, eight into like two different groups. So like a three and a four or a four and a three. Whichever way the groove kind of sounds, you know. Um, in this case, it's kind of a three, three, one. So I, I'd go one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Rest, rest. So that happens every single time. So you could think, one, two, rest, rest. And then you're in with that groove from before. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can think the three and the six are rests, or one, two, three, one, two, three, one. The whole instrumental section is pretty much that pattern three times. So it's a bar of groove in 4-4 four, four, and then that fill on the snare in 7-8. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Rest. 
53, we go back to this groove. But we have a decrescendo or a diminuendo in this bar. So we have to go from forte to mezzo piano. So make sure you quiet down as you play. And for the bridge, we want to keep it nice and light. So bars 54 to 60, we're at the bridge now. And we're playing the same groove that we had in the chorus, but we're bringing the dynamics right down to mezzo piano. We play that for seven bars. You've also got the option to continue similar, so you can ad-lib a little bit as well if you want to. So, just to remind you what that groove is. One and a two, three and a four. Bar 61, we're bringing it back up. We're kicking into the guitar solo, so it's a forte dynamic. And here's how bar 61 goes. So, beat one, we've got that. Two bass drums, a ride on the first one, a crash on the second one, one and. Then on beat two, we've got the ride. And the snare on the first one. So beats one and two. And again. And then beats three and four. Just caterpillar, caterpillar. Or three E and a, four E and a. So beat three. in a bass, left, right, left on the snares, and beat four, four, E, and a. Last section of the song, it's a guitar solo section at bar 62. Here's the groove. we're bringing the volume up we've got it back up to forte now to finish off the song starting off we've got <laughs> classic we will rock you beat for the first half of the bar <laughs> and then beats three and four <laughs> so that one more time all together And again, you can continue a similar sort of theme. So feel free to add some extra bits in. We play that for four bars. We crash in on the first one. We've got a big fill at the end of the fourth bar. We repeat this section twice. And both times at the end, we put a big fill in. Now you can use inspiration from other fills that are in this song. I'm just going to finish this off by playing this section off the top of my head. And hopefully it can influence you to... Add some of your own stuff in. So, the last section, guitar solo to the end. Two, three, four. 